Well, hello and good morning or good evening, depending on when you watch this. This is your second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. Well, I'm not sure if it's actually your second stimulus package update, but we'll just say it is as of July 3rd, 2020. To get things started off, let's talk about the unemployment and the PUA. As I like to call it, the People's the, the Protection Unemployment Act or the Privileged Unemployment Act because as we all know, the unemployed are receiving a massive stimulus check of $2,400 every single month and that ends at the end of this month. Whereas the rest of the people out there that have only received a one-time payment of $1,200 from our government are struggling to meet and make ends meet, put food on the table for their kids, as well as pay for their housing. Well, let's put it this way. Um, they have not decided what to do with the PUA yet. They don't know whether they're going to extend it. And if they do extend it, if it's going to be extended for $300 to $250 to $300 per week, or if they're going to do it on a point based system as far as how your unemployment numbers are for your state. Basically, meaning that if your unemployment rate reaches 6% or low, your PUA benefits basically disappear and you only get your standard unemployment so let's give you a good breakdown to it um, if your unemployment rate is from six to seven percent you get hundred dollars additional for the enhanced unemployment act if it's from seven to eight you get two hundred if it's eight to nine you get three hundred nine to ten you get four uh, ten to eleven you get five and eleven and higher you get six hundred dollars per week to your unemployment that idea they're still throwing around they have not passed on it yet the democratic lead nancy pelosi as well as the republican lead for the senate um, mitch mcconnell said that they're going to cut their vacation short and they're going to work on the next stimulus package we do not what know exactly what the next stimulus package is going to contain inside it we are hoping that it, it contains good news for the unemployed as well as employed and for all the rest of the people out there in America that have, have either received have not either received their checks or had it stolen, that would include uh, the people that were dependents in college. That would include basically the the Native Americans that are part of America, because they basically got their first stimulus checks from the government because they had to fight them for it. But the <clears throat> the next stimulus check hopefully is going to be a very big one because they said they're going to hammer it out because they're going to cut their vacation short isn't that nice of them they're going to cut their paid vacation that the people pay for really short i doubt that's really going to happen but we will see as time progresses and let's see here they're talking about the unemployed we're also going to talk about the housing out there and I'm going, to get, I'm going to show you some charts of the unemployment, what our current unemployment is compared to the whole unemployment trend from 1929 to current date. But for now, we'll get into housing. Right now, we have, I think, what is it, about 15 million house, people that are in houses that are going to be evicted if we do not resolve this whole uh, stimulus package thing before the um, current package expires which is the current package is the cares act which put a halt on supposedly a halt on all evictions for people paying rent and mortgage although i have seen some stories out there off of many different sites of people showing eviction papers from their t their landlords or their mortgage holders so the cares act isn't giving complete coverage for all those people even though it should Let's see here, but the new, uh, what is it called? Emergency Housing Protection and Relief Act thrown out by the Senate is supposed to be supposed to give uh, every state and local government $100 billion to go towards every person paying rent or mortgage to keep them in their houses. We do not know when this, I mean, is this a thought thrown out there by the Senate? We don't know if they have voted on that thought or not, or when it's going to pass, but as more news comes available to me i will pass it on to you guys as is what i'd like to do is i like to help out the people because we all all of us people have to band together against a corrupt government that don't care about the people at all 
their current actions have proven that. Because the HEROES Act has been on the table for close to two months now. And if I remember correctly, when the HEROES Act first was proposed by the House of Representatives, the Senate said that it was going to be dead upon arrival when it got to the Senate, and it has not been dead upon arrival. They're still talking about it. And currently, I heard that they actually read the HEROES Act one more time before they decide to go on their nice vacation. But let's see here. We're, we're they like said, we're up for the housing. Hopefully, they can pass that act. So basically, well, that's gonna be a lot, a lot of that's gonna be, <laughs> that's a lot of money out there going out to the, for the housing, which is very well needed and deserved. Because we do not need people to go out live on the streets because that's not a good idea. With especially with the fall and winter months coming up, which could cause more of a worse of a case crisis than what we have because people will die from the cold. And we don't need that. And let's see here. Larry Kudlow, he said that the next stimulus package would be lar large in scale and would probably have an additional uh, stimulus check inside it. I have actually had people ask me uh, what the next stimulus package would look like. Sorry about the paper there. And I, it could basically be another one-time payment of $1,200 to bent to basically <laughs> bridge us for another, who knows how long, until they decide to pass another one or something like that. Or it could be, uh, the which basically could have been the original one from the CARES Act, which was $1,200 per individual plus $500 per dependent. Or it could be, Twelve hundred dollars for each individual and twelve hundred dollars for each dependent. Those are the two of them. And then there's also the one out there that basically would give you two thousand dollars a month for up to twelve months. There's an, another one out there that's also about the same. It's two thousand dollars a month for up to twelve months, plus an additional one thousand dollars for twelve months past that point. And I, I don't know what it's going to be. I mean. If they do the two thousand dollars a month for twelve months, it's that's going to be it'll be retroactive as well as recurring, as well as I think the twelve thousand two thousand dollars a month for twelve months plus one thousand dollars for each additional month past that. I think that's also retroactive. I'm not exactly positive about that, but as we're talking about the people, let's talk about the Heroes Act. Like I said, the Heroes Act has been read one more time by the beautiful Senate before they decide to go on the nice paid vacation that we pay for. But if you believe that the Senate going on a vacation at this present time of crisis is a bad idea, please hit that like button. And so this, my content can get out to other viewers that will see this, can see the same thing as we do, that we care about everyone on this in the United States as well as on this planet. And let's see here. Let's see here. All the packages they have out there. They have another $1,200 single payment package out there, which is a Heroes Act. They have a thought for the $2,000 retroactive and recurring for 12 months. They have the one out there for the $2,000 for 12 months plus $1,000 for each additional month past the original 12 months. They also have a $4,000 Trump thought up tax credit, which is called the Travel America Tax Credit which basically would give the um, people a $4,000 tax credit if they spent one on vacation and spent $8,000. That's right. You go on vacation, you spend $8,000, and you only get half of that back as a tax credit. What good that will do for you at this present time is beyond me because I don't know of any American out there that isn't loaded that can afford to go on vacation at right this present time in this crisis and with the spread of COVID. Then they also have another tax credit out there, which was sought up by the Senate, which is also basically the same thing. It's a $4,000 tax credit that it basically, if you spend $4,000, you can file it all on your tax form and get your full $4,000 back as long as each purchase was $50 or greater. And then, as I heard today, there's another tax credit out there. It's called the dining tax credit. You heard me right. The dining tax credit. And basically what it does is it pays you to go out and eat. Well, as I stated earlier, I mean, who in besides the people that are loaded down with money, like the celebrities and the senator and the president and the 
legislator has money to go out to eat at this present time when we have millions and millions of people out there starving and suffering from COVID-19 that needs to be taken care of first. And as I reported earlier, the jobs report came out earlier this week and it basically gave us said it was good news. It said our unemployment rate was at 11.1%. Well, what they don't realize it was is the jobs report was flawed because the jobs report only reported for half a month of June, not the full month of June as it should have done. If it would have reported for the full month of June, our unemployment numbers would be more greater than 11.1% guaranteed, especially with all these new closures going happening across the states because of the spread of COVID-19. Because they're cutting their workforces in half or they're closing down completely, which raises up our unemployment rate a lot. So the Senate needs to basically get a full month of the jobs report to get an accurate count of the numbers and percentage of people unemployed because your unemployment, the uh, unemployment rate also affects whether we're going to get a second stimulus check or not. But we also have not heard the Senate or the legislator or anyone in Congress for that matter bring up us not getting a second stimulus check because of unemployment numbers, but that could change at any time when they get back from their vacation. And talking about COVID news, I, I'll talk about your COVID news here in a minute. I'm going to show you some numbers for our current unemployment rate, as well as the unemployment rate from 1929 to current date. Please let me know what you think of my content by hitting the subscribe button. And like I said, if you agree that the Senate, or should we say the Congress going on a vacation at this crucial time in crisis is a bad idea, please hit that like button so more people out there can see my content and also hit that like button as well here are those numbers for you to look at those charts so i said if you look at so you can see the unemployment rates i will start off with unemployment rate currently And then I will move on to the unemployment rate from 1929 to current date. And currently, Dr. Fauci, the top economic advisor for the president, I think who got you know, either quit or got terminated, I'm not exactly sure, as well as, uh, was, as, well as other researchers, have been doing research on the COVID-19 virus itself has basically said that the COVID-19 virus is mutating to a new strain that is more easier to spread than the original strain of COVID-19. Now, why they're trying to figure out why they're trying to mutate it is beyond me, but they need to start working on a vaccine so the people can safely return to work and school so we can continue on with our economy and make it strong but also other news states that our friendly friends from china where this pandemic originally came from are also playing another pandemic of swine flu this information has not yet been confirmed but I'm trying to figure out why every pandemic we have comes from China. I mean, come on, COVID-19 came from China. Swine flu, the new pandemic coming out, is coming from China. And currently, we are still banned from going to Europe unless it's for essential purposes, such as commerce. We cannot go there for leisure time products to go see the Eiffel Tower or anything like that. And currently, we have a current confirmed case of 55,000 confirmed with COVID-19 as of yesterday. And that's in 40 states. Our numbers keep rising and we need to start making our numbers drop. We need to start wearing masks when we go out into public. I got my own mask. I wore it today because I is, is not, the mask does not impose on your civil liberties. The mask wearing is to protect others that are more susceptible to catching this virus 
than we are, those with a compromised immune systems as well as other health problems. So I please urge you people out there to, when you go out there to big public gatherings or big places with there's a lot of people like Walmarts or other stores, to please wear your masks to protect those around you as well as to protect yourself. This is your stimulus check update and stimulus package update as of July 3rd, 2020. You guys have a magnificent evening out there. Please stay safe and I will send you at another stimulus package and check update tomorrow when more information comes available. Until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Bye.